So I decided to go cold turkey on digital and shoot nothing but film for the next year. Because reasons. Now you can shoot film with any old camera you pick up in a thrift shop, but I've had my eye on this one camera for years, and I got more money than brains, so I decided to splurge a little bit. Look! It's the Leica MP. Ooh, and it's still in the box. But I can fix that to the overhead cam. Whee! Now you don't need a Leica to shoot film. In the end, this is just a tool and there's a hundred other tools that will do about the same thing in about the same way for a lot less money. So why did I pick the Leica MP? Well, just look at this thing. I mean, just look at it. Boom, chicka, wow, wow. Boom, chow, wow. That's my porno music. Porno music. Boom, chicka, wow, wow. Boom, chicka, waka, boom, chicka, wow, wow. I couldn't find porno music, so I'm singing it. I'm singing the porno. I got the black paint version, and the high gloss finish looks amazing out of the box. But the brass top and bottom plates will eventually start to peek through. This brassing is unique to the way each photographer handles their camera, and it's the kind of thing where the more you use it, the better it looks. So that's something, but at the end of the day, the Leica MP does exactly the same thing as a 25 year old M6, so. Why not just get an M6? The reality is I just wanted a new camera. I know you'll save a ton of money buying used and Leicas have a reputation for lasting forever, but M6 prices have gone through the roof lately. A good one in mint condition will cost upwards of 5,000 Canadian and suddenly the price difference between that and a brand new Leica is not that much. And yeah, I know you can get an M4 or an M4P for even less than an M6, but that's not what I wanted. I wanted an MP in black paint, so that's what I got. I don't have to justify myself to you. First impressions of the Leica MP. Right off the bat, let's talk about build quality. The camera is compact and utilitarian, but somehow manages to feel elegant and refined at the same time. It's got some weight to it, but not in a bad way. It just sort of feels solid and tight. Fit and finish is superb as it should be. Paint is flawless, leatherette is flawless. It's flawless. This camera gives you the impression that it's still gonna be around 100 years from now, which is more than you can say for the likes of me. It uses the old style one piece film advance lever like the M3, and the film advance mechanism is smooth like butter. Oh, I could see her all afternoon just cocking and firing this thing. It's really that good. Oh. And have you heard the shutter on these things? It uses like Leica M cloth shutter mechanism, and it's one of the sexiest camera sounds on the planet. I mean, just listen. Oh. So stealthy. I actually think that the film advance is a little louder than the shutter itself, but they're both so quiet. It's good. We've already talked about the black paint finish, but it's worth looking at one more time. I mean, just look at it. The optical viewfinder in this thing is amazing. It's higher magnification than the X100V or X-Pro3, which look puny by comparison. And the crystal clear optics and complete lack of distortion create a top of the line experience. If you've ever looked through a Leica viewfinder, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's so good. Finally, can we talk about the size of this thing? I think we've become a little numb to camera size with digital cameras. Even the M10 and M11 look all out chunky compared to this slim little fella. But apart from physical dimensions, the Leica MP just feels right in your hand. And I for one can't wait to get out there and take some pictures already with this. 
So the MP is great and all, but why start shooting film now? I mean, to be fair, I'm not exactly starting with film. I got my degree in photography from Ryerson here in Toronto way back in 1990 when film was the only way you could make a photo. So I'm no stranger to shooting and developing film. In fact, I kind of like it. And there's nothing wrong with digital photography, but the very fact that pixels are free encouraged me to shoot first and ask questions later. I wasn't making photographs so much as I was exposing frames. I want to get back to what it means to author a photograph in very personal terms, where the process of creating images is deliberate and purposeful. Film photography slows things down just a little and lets me take a breath and concentrate on every shot. Plus, film just looks amazing, so I'm jumping in head first. The plan is to use one camera, one lens, one film for one year and see what happens. Will I find the photographic truth I'm looking for or did I just spend a whole ton of money for nothing? Well, we're going to have to wait and see, aren't we? Hmm. As always, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up and don't forget to comment and subscribe. I'm trying to reach my goal of 10,000 subscribers and I'd love to have you along for the ride. I've got some amazing videos coming up and I'd hate for you to miss any of them. But for now, I'm Carl from Street Shooter and this is my new Leica MP. I think we make a lovely couple, don't you? There's just one thing missing. Oh yeah.